Those are like trans-dimensional portals that we're not seeing. We're getting like sucked into the void every two seconds. The techno pig is like there's some kind of machine in the middle of there. I'd like to not see red anymore. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Um. I have a feeling this is not a happy device. the edges like was that the only thing in there or? We don't have to do anything with that yet. Um, hello? Can I? Did you hear something or is it no, blocking you from going up? Yeah. Keep going anyway. Uh. Fine. Be that way. Whee! Alright. Maybe you go up there later. Back into the middle, you've done a full circuit now. There's gotta be something we didn't poke in the middle there. There's that ladder up. Okay. Making a mental note of where that is right now, directionally. Okay, there's a couple. Oh, it's a heart. Gross. There's two things on the side, too. I don't know. You throw something at it? <laughs> There's nothing to throw at it. Uh, weird. Hello? Will help? Can I have a hint, please? I'm stupid. Ladder here, that's weird. Oh, well, now it lets me go up. What the weird. hell? I don't know. Like, I'm not retarded, I swear this to God. Glam this glam. This game is kind of glitched out sometimes. I have no idea. Ooh, that looks important.
That's what happens when I scream in the middle of saying no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Enoch, Edward, Oswald, and I. Who's Oswald? Who's I? Well, I thought his name was Oswald. No, his name's Mandus. Isn't his name Oswald Mandus? Oh, I don't know. I thought I thought that's what we. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I Oswald's don't. someone else. I, I don't know. Maybe I am the machine. Okay, maybe Oswald is a character. I don't know. Ooh, it's purple. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. You to okay, the he thinks the machine is talking to him. Friend. Oh my God. I'm your friend. He thinks the machine is talking to him. Well, he put like a beating heart into a machine, so maybe the machine is like keeping the heart alive and I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Uh, ooh. What? Oh look, there's a person in there. Is that like, are his children in the things? I don't know. Oh. Is he like, what? Looks like we have to like turn off the two other lights or something somehow, so I yeah. guess there's something in here. Can I run, please? It's kind of no. cool and like, so like, eggs. Yeah. We need robin's eggs. We're giant robin's eggs. Can I run, please? I am no more evil than you. We saw the same thing to save humanity, uh, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Dude. You're a stupid, Amanda, pointless life. Think about what you are doing for your children, Mandus. Don't speak Dead. of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them in the temple steps, knowing what the kind century would do to them. And your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the song. You wanted to save them from the heart to come. Uh -oh. That is the vision uh -oh. you shared. Everything is fit to a birth this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We yes. deserve to make them free. Everybody is with me. Hi. So. Hi. Oh, stop the ride. I want to get off. Yeah. In a Jones ride and stunt downhill. Huh. Oh, there is a temple down here. The balls. I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal forehand. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into pain. Sure. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The piano is so happy in the background. <laughs> The innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their scouts into your graves. And they will eat your hearts. Easy on the political commentary. <laughs> Is this the uh, thing from the beginning of the game where it was like, Daddy, Daddy, please don't kill me? Oh. Yes. Please, Panda Snow. For your children. Hello, Piggy Mask. Aw, there is like a skewered child to the right. Yes. Uh, oh. uh, what you doing there, creepy Dr. Octopus Kinchies? Uh, you 
you can press the button. I think you just ripped your heart out. Sure, why not? Cool. I mean, the end. The Temple of Doom! Is it the end? I don't know. Roll credits? I don't understand what just. I don't, I don't understand any of it. See where this cutscene is going. <laughs> Back down the stairs. Do we have to play the whole game in reverse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Crashes and everything. Like, did it just? I lay there him? and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard in the silent distance. The man pig singing to another. <laughs> then start the choir and the dance. Were gone, and we lay together in the deep. They drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city. Turning over in its sleep. I'm on the the church bell ringing mm. out. And in that moment, the new century. Was yeah, born. New Year's Eve. Ah. Who's asleep at midnight on New Year's Eve? No. I guess that's it. I'm super confused. So... There was this god thing, and it was wanting to slaughter people, because the next century would have, like, two world wars, and it was like, yo, everybody's going to die, but they decided to slaughter people to stop people from getting slaughtered. Don't get it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. He's like, we have to stop, because... This is like... Okay. See, even I could under kind of understand the first game, even though there was all this mystical weirdness. But this one's yeah, kind of confusing. This is like, okay, there was a dude, and he went to a temple. He went to Mexico. Dream, but, yeah. Well, what I'm guessing is like he went to Mexico and he found this like dude in a temple, and then he's like, oh, I'll bring you back, because you can show the future. And, like, his... I don't know if that's it at all. I think he just, like, um... Some of these credits are amusing. And just all the ancients was written by... The man pigs were designed and sculpted by... That would be... This is actually really funny. And the fine citizens of London. <laughs> oh, you're right, Oswald Mandis. Okay. The machine and the professor. Is that cool? Oh, there we go, the soprano. Awesome. Huh. <laughs> the square land one. They're really supplied by... For your assistance and orientation. This is must have been wow, they had like a credits I've ever seen. Additional. <laughs> the test subjects that did point out what was inefficient, unethical, or broken. I uh, love oh, that. The hum humble bugs. Too. Oh, so now we know who to blame for the crashing. <laughs> Ouch. Kept in motion throughout. <laughs> okay, that was that's pretty funny. Uh, uh, so funny, I forgot the. F oh, okay. He's like, I have Kit Aaron Pigzarland. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> I want to be Pizza and the great and domestic The party the that gleams upon the losers but serves the bourgeois in the period of the greatest sharpening of the class struggle can but sense the smell wafted from a waiting grave. Nice. Um, and he was like, he saw horrible shit, and then he's like, oh fuck, I have children, I can't let them see this horrible shit, I'm gonna build this big machine. No, he's, and like, the guy's like, oh, there's the future, there's a big slaughter coming, and they're gonna die in trenches with gas and shrapnel and stuff, so they're gonna die anyway, so you should just kill them now. That was but, what that was about. But the man pigs? I don't know what the hell is with the man pigs. That? They were, they were supposed to be, like, his loyal servants that would run around slaughtering everyone, but I don't know why everybody was had to be slaughtered to prevent a slaughter. Because, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, review of the game on this, the final screen. Yeah. Um, the blue, horrible decision. Yeah, like, it, like, blue is awful in some parts. Like, some parts it wasn't as blue and I didn't even notice it, but, like, a lot of the outside areas are just blue. Completely Yeah, like, blue. please stop having the sort of mid-distance to distant distance be, like, a hazy color. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But the blue filter was horrendous. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere was usually pretty good. Yeah, the sewer was, like, intense. Like, that- actually, that was the only really, like, scary part. The, actually, the one part where he unleashed all the pigs in London, that killed actually... any of the scariness of those Yeah, pigs. that wasn't really- yeah. It, it just became a, like, just a game game at that point. You're like, okay, yeah. I just gotta beat the- beat the system at this point. It's not yeah. like I'm surviving anymore. It's like I've gotta go kick ass. Yeah. Um, Which kind of, uh, in my opinion, defeated the purpose of, like, the thing. Uh, like, the other amnesia was pretty much scary all the way up to the end, so. Yeah. Even even though this he one, had, it, like, a goal to go kill the kind of jumped the shark a little bit. Yeah. Um, way too much pig metaphors, even for something yeah. called machine for pigs. Like, yeah, tone it down like, a little bit, and I think it would have been more effective. Like, you've jumped Animal Farm and gone way fucking, uh. like, you make Animal Farm look like a very vague reference. Yeah, like, less pig masks. Like, have the pig masks drop at one point or something. Like, cut out maybe, like, almost all of those, except maybe ten of the instances you see masks or something. Yeah. And then, like, keep the creepy statues. That was funny. Like, the stained glass windows were fine, but, like, it's like, pig this, pig that, yeah. piglets. Ugh. The, the cages this. on the beds never explained. Yeah, ever. I don't... Like, is it, like, well, to protect them from the pigs in case they come up through the bowels of the machine, up through the mansion, and into the bedroom? Like, what... Like, and there were little cages in, like, animals. the attic or whatever, where the kids were. How did we lose our memory in the first place? And it like, was explained in the first game. We drank yeah. a potion. I mean, contrived fair as enough. it is. Yeah, whatever. like, fair enough. Um, this one is like, oh, there's a saboteur. And I'm like, well, obviously he's the saboteur, but okay. And then yeah. and then he, like, goes through it, and I'm like, oh, I'm the saboteur. How could I have forgotten? And he didn't know he killed his own children. Yeah, and... like, the old, uh, you are the bad guy sort of been there, done that. I wouldn't like, have minded with... if there was a little more explanation. Like, yeah. I kind of expected that, and I don't really mind that. Like, especially since yeah, he like tries it's... to redeem himself in the end. But... Yeah, like, it's fine. It's just, like, I don't I don't know. It was such a main thing of The Last Amnesia, and it was kind of cool and not quite novel, but yeah, a little different. And then to do the exact same thing again. It, like, it didn't go off into mystical bullshit land, but yeah. it kind of went off into sci-fi bullshit land, which is, you know, it's Fair enough. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, not as scary as the first one, although when we're, like, hiding from pigmen, like, earlier, that was pretty, yeah. pretty good. This one was a lot easier, too. Like, some of the puzzles in Amnesia actually took a little more time to kind of figure stuff out. Yeah. And I like the suspense building in this game as well. It did that very well, like, the first one. Like, you don't really see things until, like, yeah. a little while in, and... There's way too much sound effects and music, I think, because it was just, like, constant, constant, constant. And then finally when we had that silence, but I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> it's silent. I'm like, that's kind of a refreshing breath of air. <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's all this noise and stuff being thrown at you 100% of the time. I'm just like... Yeah, but I still thought it was better than the first one for that. Yeah. Like, because there wasn't always music and stuff. There was a lot of places where it just kind of let, let the scene play without this sort of underlying music. Towards the end, it really 
Yeah. Went high on the music. Um, yeah, graphics? Yeah, they were oh, pretty good. But on par with the last game, a bit better. Yeah, which... I really, I liked the, um, the, it, the motion is way easier in this game. Like, the controls and stuff was, like, a lot more smooth. Like, opening and closing doors, like, <laughs> shoving things open and closing doors. Yeah. Are there last game I remember, like, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door, oh my yeah. god, and then things would, like, burst through. Yeah. Um, uh, the pigs never, like, broke down doors. No. They were a little less Aggressive. threatening sometimes than the other Mr. Flappy Jaw. Um, I thought they were fairly scary most of the game. Because yeah, pig noises aren't very pleasant. No. Because they're like grunty and shuffly and <laughs> so Yeah, no, it had a good reveal when we finally like saw the monster and stuff like that. It was freaky. Yeah. Having him pop up right behind us with no warning, that was freaky. <laughs> yeah, that was terrifying. Uh <laughs> Water Monster went nowhere. It was pretty pointless. Yeah, it, I guess if you didn't run in that one spot, it would have bit you, but... That's about it. Like, it yeah. really... It didn't have any sort of purpose, because the only monster in it was these pig dudes. Yeah. So there was no reason for a water monster to be there. At least in the other one, it was like, okay, it's another formless, whatever. Yeah. But it's like, it's not like a piglet running around under the water there. Like, it was th really... Yeah, it was probably just a throwback to the first game, A like really pointless, shameless, useless throwback. There's a few throwbacks to the last game, though, because they mention, like, in a bunch of notes and stuff, like, the old game and stuff like that, and, like, oh, yeah, this compound from this place. But that didn't go anywhere either. It was just, like, no, random stuff. It didn't, like... I should, I should look up all the notes and stuff and see if they fit together a bit better, because, like, all of the notes were really random, too. You'd have, like, one in May, and then you'd get one, like, in December, two days before the present day, and then it would be, like... Yeah. Like, um... everything, I'm assuming everything happened in one day for this game. Like, 24 no hour span or whatever. Because it was supposed to be, like, New Year. And I think the last diary entry we got or found was December 29th, which means that there was, like, two days between that. So he probably, like, sabotaged the machine in those two days. Maybe. And forgot about it? Yeah, like, I, I don't, don't understand know. that. Like, how did he forget? And I'm pretty sure that voice all along was the machine. Because that was even in the credits. Yeah. The machine and the professor. So it was... It was him. There was talking. a guy in the machine, but... Like, there's that one scene where there's, like, the guy lying in the bed or whatever. But yeah, I don't know what that was supposed to... I, I kind of... I thought, like, he was, like, the one who had been, like, incorporated in the machine, and then he was the machine or whatever. Which would explain how the guy could, like, continuously phone call you and knew where you were. But at the same time, that could have just been I him being I think that nuts, was but... him being insane. I think that was just him being batshit crazy. Maybe that was one of the children, and the other one was skewered up on the thing. I have no idea. It was still very cryptic. I think both the children were screwed there, like, if you looked to the yeah, left, I, I think I there know. was another one. There. It didn't let me look around very much. No. Um, yeah, it was okay, overall. Yeah. It had, had some really good parts of them. Yeah. Some really eh parts. All it the was... continuous crashing was annoying. Yeah, so I'd say it was less scary than the first one, but it was okay. Why did he kill the professor guy? He seemed very interested in I him. have no idea. I really don't, like... I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid, but I didn't follow the plot of this one, like, at all. Yeah. At least the last one, I kind of, hey, he went to a place, and there was a dude, and then all the dudes that were with him died, and... Yeah. yeah we, you know. Like, yeah, the last one he went on an expedition, he, uh, he like, disturbed something he shouldn't have, went back to this castle, because he's like, hey, I need help, because this thing is chasing me, and he's like, oh, if we kill these guys, it'll stave off the shadow for a while longer. And then it went, like, all crazy mystical, he's like, yes, we're gonna open this gate to this place and escape from the shadow, because we need these orbs that the shadow wants back. And Yeah, it went but, kind of around the bend at the end. Yeah. But it, at least like, it made sense. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm following you. It's weird, yeah. but I, I follow. This was some kind of, like, huge, like, socio-political commentary that was at once heavy-handed and impenetrable. Like, yeah. part of it was like, it was it was like they were trying to be... And were, very disgustingly poetic. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. Um, where he's like... They're, they're trying to make some commentary. Fair enough. That's cool. Especially because it's a video game. It's an interesting medium, right? Yeah. But at times it was super obvious, and then when they tried to make it not super obvious, it just became, like, super cryptic bullshit. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I think they're kind of beating us over the head a little bit with the commentary. 
Yeah, some of the stuff like, I wasn't even really paying attention to, so I was more concerned with, oh my god, is something coming to kill me, or like, yeah. keeping a watch out and whatnot. Yeah. So I missed so, some of the um, stuff. Like, when I was watching you, it was easier to, like, read the subtitles and stuff, because you were watching. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, I would rather have played this one before Outlast, because I loved Outlast. Yeah, Outlast like, was Like, I thought really it was good. really awesome, even though it took a turn into mystical, mystical, mystic land. Um... So yeah, I, it turned out that the one I was going to kind of use to tide me over, and the one I was super looking forward to, kind of switched places on me. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you had to give an arbitrary rating out of ten? Uh, depends, like, what you were rating on, but, like, an overall, I'd say, like, I don't know, six and a half. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it, like, a six. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a bad game, I just wouldn't call it a super, super good game. Yeah. Like, I'd say, like, I would know, say it was a decent The game. first game was pretty good. Outlast that we just finished was quite good. This one was okay. Yeah. I think it's kind of, you know, it had a couple creepy moments, like, in terms of just general creepiness, like, I'm thinking of the torture evil dog room. Yeah. And, like, the fact that you could hear the barking in the distance and stuff like that. Yeah. This one... Okay, I don't think they would have been able to do it because it would have been way too controversial, but if they had more of actual pigs, an actual, like, slaughtering of pigs, or, like, evidence of pig slaughtering in the factory, or, like, yeah, flashbacks of pig slaughtering, or, like, creepy... <laughs> Peter would have been all over that. <laughs> I know, like, creepy diagrams of pig slaughtering, oh, and, like... did you hear that uh, Peter was all mad with Assassin's Creed 4 because there's wailing in it. Yeah, no, I read that. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, seriously? Like, is this the game? wailing is just... Like, I'd, I'd get it if they were mad at, like, I think it's like Far Cry 3 or whatever, where you, like, fashion new items out of animals that you kill with your bare hands or something, I don't know. But, like, that's just... It's yeah. just part of what went on. It's not it's that the historical. game is endorsing it, it's just yeah. part of the game. That's Although like... I love their reply, where they're like, they don't, they don't uh, endorse whaling or general poor hygiene or something like that. Yeah. They had a really funny Oh yeah, they were saying, it. saying like, yeah, we don't endorse piracy either, or something yeah. like that. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh. Yeah, not, I don't have a whole lot to say. Ouch. It's just kind of okay. Yeah. We got some good scares out of it. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it wasn't everything I hoped it would be, but it was more or less what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it kind of felt like a full conversion mod of the first game to me. Yeah? <laughs> kind of like upgraded graphics, like new music and characters and stuff like that. It felt shorter. Well, it was shorter. Yeah. Like, it took less time for us to play. I think that was like five hours. Yeah. And or, I also or think, four like, hours even. Towards the end of Amnesia, you were constantly hounded by these monsters. Yeah. Whereas towards the end of this one... The pigs are like, eh. Yeah, they all just kind of ran loose and it became a little silly. Yeah. Like, if you'd just been going towards, like, the depths or whatever, and there were just pig dudes just, hunt, like, shadowing your every step, would have been fucking terrifying. Next time we got an Electro Rave pig. Yeah, that... <laughs> that was hilarious. That, that was... It was he like Tron wings. Pig. Tron it pig. was Tron Pig. And it was... Like, what? Like, what the fuck? I gotta go take another look at him, because I swear he had, like, Tron armor stuff on him with, like, rave, ultraviolet, black light type glow yeah. sticks strapped all over him. That was weird. Um, so, in general, I think interesting concept, mediocre execution, yeah. sweet soundtrack. Yeah, the, the music and sound's actually in it pretty good. Yeah, like but the, My only complaint with the sound is there's just way too much of it sometimes. Yeah, but you're in a machine. I know, it makes sense. I just, yeah. like, sometimes, like, there was, like, the machine sounds, and then there was, like, kind of a background music, and then there was kind of, like, like, any other sounds that might be there, like, the pigs or, like, people talking or whatever. Like, sometimes it's just too much. Like, that's why that silence, that one part, I noticed it so well, is because, like, it's never been no, it's, this it's silent. No, it's funny, enough. because the whole time I, I like, I was, like, I'm really happy that they went in this direction, because it's yeah. a lot quieter than having the music all the time in Amnesia. I guess so. I guess there were more sound effects, but then there was nothing, there were no real sound effects to hear in the first one. Maybe that's why it sounded louder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the first one had, like, its generic, like, music track, you know, like, every now and then. Or, like, you know, you enter a new area, it was like, doo-doo-doo-doo. 
But like the the sound the sound in the first game was effective. Like even if you put it in headphones and stuff like that, like you can really yeah. hear things around you. This one, the, I guess the sound in this version or this uh, game sounded more real. Yeah. Like, but it I don't know. Just the constant music in the in the first one maybe, just bothered me. Maybe it would have helped if there was a bit more pacing. Like if there were more silent yeah, that's moments kind of or what quieter I, moments. Yeah, but that I, that might be my only problem. I felt it. like because of the shorter game like runtime, the pacing was a little. Like, for what it was, it was fine. Yeah. Um, it just could have done more if it were longer. Yeah. It just, it kind of feels like, for all the delays and stuff, it just didn't really live up to, yeah. like, it's no, like, Duke Nukem, but just, it, it just feels like I wanted more. Yeah. Like it, it was, it was I guess it, I guess it's tough when you're like, okay, here is your environment, a machine. It's like, how many rooms a machine can you really have? Like, well, I mean, it's like it's industrial, like, like it's London, like an industrial like, complex and stuff. Like you could go out and do more, like yeah. I don't know. I think focusing on the machine, even though it is a machine for pigs, like I don't know. I just feel like they could have. I was looking forward to that creepy construction area and like we just had more environments. Like I get that we're going through the machine. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, just yeah, or like something. even more puzzles where you have to like search for things more. Like stuff is harder to find. Like so you're lifting tarps and stuff, and then you lift a tarp, and there's like something yeah, um, like scary under scary there, scary or something. Like yeah, that. I really don't like the lack of inventory system and the fact that like it's that your lantern is always and can always be on. Yeah, that kills a lot of what made the first amnesia scary because you have to conserve your shit, and if you and then that encourages you to search every nook and find creepy things. Yeah. Because there's tinder boxes and oil you have to get. Oh, you know what would have been really cool for this? What? Is like if you went into a section of the machine and the power just completely cut. Yeah. And then it was just darkness. And silence. And silence. That would have been that would have been good. I would have liked that. Yeah, I think Well I wouldn't have liked it, but I think yeah. it would have been good for the app. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I get that it was like sort of steampunky and that was cool. Yeah. Um I didn't like that there was nothing to find. Yeah. It felt more railroad and less interactive just because you were just following along. Yeah. And just getting through places instead of exploring and looking for clues and looking for story. With objects. Yeah, and just like picking shit up and moving it and making box sports and just kind of <laughs> like expressing yourself through the game yeah. and, and stuff like that instead of just like you can pick up this but not that yeah you cannot play with the skull this time because fuck you you don't get to like it just feels like they didn't like it's almost it doesn't feel half finished but it feels like half of its potential yeah in in so many ways yeah like add give us back the inventory give us back some of the exploration like the castle was big yeah and you had you could go whatever way you want like until the jam reason. stopped. Really. Yeah, like you could, you know what I mean? Like you could choose to go one way or the other first. Yeah. And both ways had something. There was, you know, mazes of tunnels and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like rooms with like tinder boxes to find or like other items you needed to put things together. Yeah. And... So this one was just kind of like you go A, B, C, maybe A or like like A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, like it's just sort of all on one path. Yeah. And you find the stuff you're meant to find, and you go the places you're, you're meant to go. Yeah. And the stuff happens that's meant to happen. And yeah. there's nothing to find. It would be fun if there's more stuff to break, and then there's more yeah. consequences to breaking the stuff. Like, there's always a way out and stuff like that in there, but, like, if there, you know, like, you break something and it releases all the cages, and then all of a sudden you're running away from, like, five pigmen <laughs> or something like that. Like, they're all down different corridors and... Yeah. I don't know. Oops. Um, yeah, so I think it, it lost that sort of exploration, that sort of need to conserve resources and whatever so that, yeah. like, you wouldn't be... Because you're, like, afraid of the dark, of being alone in the dark and whatever. So you want to have your, your lamp out, but you can't because you're burning oil. Yeah. So in this one, we just ran around with the lantern on whether we needed it or not. Yeah. Because you're never going to run out, it's fine. Well, no, not only that, like... The, the lantern, too, is, like, your kind of, like, indicator, through, especially if there's no other lights around, that there's, like, something near. Yeah. Plus, what was I going to say about that? 
Well, it's a little artificial. Oh, yeah, the first game was interesting because you had to, like, balance between going crazy and, like, the monster finding you. So, like, if you have your light on, the monster's gonna, like, know where you are. If you have your light off and you should get scared, you, the monster's gonna know where you are. So you need to run and hide in places that you can kind of balance between the yeah, two. Yeah, like, not going batshit crazy from being in the dark. Huge fucking, like, thank God they took that out. Yeah. But... But it's all had an interesting mechanic. It's like, yeah, you've got to like uh, balance me crazy. And stuff like like, that. like really, the the perfect balance would be just being low on fuel, yeah. like needing to find tinder boxes and stuff like that. But also needing to conserve them because you're screwed if you don't have any. Whereas this one is just like well, it's kind of like Outlast, so you needed the batteries, and sometimes yeah. you ran low on batteries, and like you could still see with the night vision a little bit if you had low yeah. battery, but. But not it was not well enough to be like much. walking along, and then all of a sudden, a guy would be in your face. You're like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was one other thing I was gonna say, but I can't remember what it was. Um, lantern. Tinder boxes, lantern. Oh yeah, it was like having the lantern be your indicator of a monster was really too artificial for me. Like in Amnesia, like the first one, rather. Like sometimes you just kind of stumbled upon him. Yeah. And, like, when you, when you saw him, you'd go, like, Bruh! and you'd be like, oh, fuck. But usually that wasn't until you were right up his ass. Yeah, or you were really close to him, and he'd be like, hello, I'm Yeah, out. whereas otherwise you were just creeping alone in the dark. Yeah. Whereas this one is like, teet, teet, and you're like, oh, shit, now we can avoid him because we know he's there. So it was, they went forward, they went backward, and they went sideways. Actually, even if they didn't have the uh, flickering lights, like, they took that out completely, you'd still be able to hear, like, the footsteps and his wink yeah. winkiness. and so. that would be cool. Because you'd be like, shit, I hear him. Yeah, and then his, like, indicator could be like, whee! Or something like that. Yeah. And he'd come after you or, like, some other creepy pig sound. Yeah, and that would be scary. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, any final remarks? Uh, not really. Sewer freaked me out, but other than that, you know, I, at the end I was just, like, Man. video game mode. Yeah, totally. It Beat was the game. It was okay. Some improvements, some things they shouldn't have taken out. Yeah. Some things they had a lot of room to explore and they didn't. I'm looking um, forward to see people do mods with this. Yeah, we'll probably do some good mods. If it's, like, really easy to mod and stuff like that, I'm like, excited to see what people can do with it. Cause some people make, like, pretty frickin' awesome mods. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. Oh, and the voice acting, once again... Terrible. Slightly better than last game. Slightly. But, but not <laughs> by a lot. Like, yeah. seriously, like, shell out 50 bucks for someone who's taken a couple acting classes. Or, like, tape the mouth of the director shut and let the fucking actors act. Because, like, you can convey, like, like, dead deadness of emotion without being, like someone's like puppeteering a corpse like fucking yeah put some emotion into your emotionlessness it can be done i didn't mind the voice of the machine but yeah that was fine yeah his and and his was okay yeah his was reasonable until he started to try to be all like i am dead to the world well that was mandis though that's what i mean hey yeah but towards the end like the latter half of the game it sucked where are my children like it was just yeah so he was okay at the start um and then it went terrible. The children were terrible. <laughs> this way, Daddy. I think the professor was okay. I can't remember. Um, I think he, he sounded like he had, like, American accent or something. You know, I think the best voice actor professor in the a. whole thing was the pig man. He did a great job. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think they could have been more menacing if there were more... If, if the periods of time that you had to sort of sneak around them and stuff were longer, they yeah. were fairly short. Yeah. You didn't encounter them for too long, like, too much, like you did Mr. Flappy Jaw. Yeah. You had extended battles with him, like, yeah. running around a huge entire area, and they're running around, like, you know, they're, they're, they're schlepping around down yeah. there. Whereas this one, it was kind of like, here is a section where he is, you have now passed that section, you are fine. Yeah. You are now entering another section where it is. It's very, very linear. Yeah. And I didn't like that. And I remember them saying, like, they were intending the uh, monsters and stuff to be more unpredictable, like, not as scripted and stuff like that. So it's not like, mm -hmm. oh, you complete a puzzle, you're gonna have a monster yeah, behind that... you and stuff like that. Yeah. And they, they sort of did that in that way, but, like, a lot of the stuff seemed to be like, okay, this is how this 
one dude works. If we do this, then we can get away from him and get to the next section, and he won't be able to follow us through this. Yeah. So, yeah, they took away the, the monster spawning after every puzzle. Good job. Nice move. Yeah. The rest of the monster stuff. Yeah. I just... Yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed, but reasonably satisfied. It was a f it was fine. Yeah. It was worth the money. Yeah. We got that much enjoyment out of it. It was fun to play. Yeah. So what more could you ask for, <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I guess quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was a $60 game. No. So for that, you know. And it had a large enough audience to a lot of people probably got it. And probably have been pissed off in one way or another, but. But they still bought it. They still bought it, yeah. and they probably all still played it, and they probably all still like something from it. So. Yeah. So, and you know what? It's not like every other shooter game ever, all the time. Gears of War, whatever. Yeah. It's something different. It's fucking trying to be horror, and it and it sort of succeeds. It more or less succeeds, and that's pretty rare to find a really good horror game. Yeah. So at least it tried really hard. In some places, it was very successful. Yeah. In other places, it was just trying really hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I like the hammy bits, like the really cheesy parts. Like, those are the perfect things to just ease the tension, like, a, yeah. a second. Like, even if it's not intended, I'm just like, thank you, Amnesia. That was just <laughs> what I needed right now. Yeah. So, um, I will give it a... Clap, clap, clap. Out of a possible... <laughs> Your your review is a lot more entertaining. Like, eh, six point five. Yeah, so it's a. Clap, 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 clap. And how would you rate it using my clap clap a meter? Oh, <laughs> you're very impressed. That's no. that point five that you gave it over me. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So, thanks for watching, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm on your channel. I'm a I'm a guest, a special guest. Can I be billed as a special guest? Sure. Awesome. Okay. Um. You're a special guest. I thought you yeah. were. You were just one of the crew. <laughs> Aww. And then that heartwarming note. <laughs>